Hello everyone, uh, this uh, extra lecture is going to be about um, anti-aliasing, and anti-aliasing is a very complicated co um, concept. Some people struggle with it for years, and it's, it's really a matter of understanding the reason behind anti-aliasing. Now, I have an image here from Variety Skeletal. They posted this, um, this chalice, the uh, chalice exercise, and there's a few things I'm going to change on it. Uh, just for everyone, um, so it's not just about this chalice in particular, but for everyone. I What I suggested in the discussion was that he made everything a little warmer. So I'm going to do that by going into the hue and saturation and bringing up the saturation just a little bit. And then picking this color specifically here. Let's take away the contiguous when I select everything. I'm going to hide the selection. The selection is still there, but I'm going to hide it. And then bring the saturation back up again. Specifically for this color, I'm going to saturate it a little more, a little more and bring it to the reds. And now light it down a little bit. Okay. So I feel it's a little warmer than it, what it was initially. Um, we can see that by going to the original there. You can see the difference between that and that. So the problem was, and one of the things that he asked was that he thought the lip was broken. I thought the lip would, had this 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 break in the line, and it, it is true. Visually, it's there. Okay, it's this exact moment here where the line, where the line kind of breaks um, like that, where it goes like that, and um, and it's something that's not really easy to solve if you consider that this break has to exist. You know, that your line is going to break. What can we do? Well, we can use the concept of anti-aliasing, and that is, again, somewhat complicated, but I'll try and explain to you here on the side. Let me just uh, create a little more pixels here. So if your line, uh, well, actually, let's make this white for the sake of simplicity. If your line does this, for example, like that, and you want to anti-alias, a lot of people will go in, and let's pick different shades of this, so I'm going to do a 30%, and then I'm just using shades. Okay, so I have different shades of, of gray there that I can color pick. And if I go in, for example, and add this pixel here, this pixel here, and then this pixel here, and I do the same on this side. Okay, that's going to help smooth out. Let me show you at 100% size. It's going to help smooth out the transition. But this is adding pixels. This doesn't really uh, do anti aliases What it, this does is it blurs everything up. So instead of doing this, you really want to replace uh, pixels. So for example, the ones that are really close together, they're probably going to be a dark tone or a mid tone, something like this, and then a little lighter going off, maybe something like that there. And you can get your dark shade here. So when I zoom that out again, it still looks a little blurry, right? A little too, too much pixels. So let's go back and shorten this up a little bit see what that does in terms of, uh, of length of, of shape. Okay, maybe it's a little better. Yeah, I kind of like that, but it, it still looks a little like there's a break, so we really need to, maybe we need a brighter shade there, something like that. And I'm doing this brighter shade just by changing the opacity on my, on my uh, brush tool and color picking the colors that I generate. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, it's a little better. It's still slightly blurry, but it's a little better. Let me show you what it would be if we did an actual line. And we can compare it. Okay, I'm going to do this over the same pixels. Emit it a little too much. Well, it should be 1px per pixel. Let's do that, and there we go. And we can compare what it looks like. You see all these uh, added pixels, which are pretty much the same as I had previously. I just didn't think they looked well enough. Uh, but you can see all these extra pixels, and they look good from far, even though there's still that sort of break. But this is what the computer thinks looks good. And anti-aliasing generated by the computer usually is more correct than something that you can figure out on your own, which is usually quite hard. So what we'll do now is we'll try and look at our drawing and see what we can do to sort of solve that. Now this is, let me blend all these together. This is black on white, but we have a bright shade over a dark shade. So let's invert this as a reference. As you can see, we do get a bright shade here and then it gets darker as it flows off. So in a way, this means that this would be uh, more like this, okay? 
and that here you would have something more like this as well or let's even get it to look darker there so that that and maybe that maybe like that and here as well you can't have that full bright problem is the material already is fairly bright so we need to reduce that a little bit more so let's add that shade there maybe we get rid of this one do that and that see what that looks like it's the break is still there so let's give it a little another another go but we do need the uh, this long this long line of pixels there it looks slightly better okay and that is just pretty much just adding another shade it looks but I think it looks slightly better let's bring that back up but if we have an, a highlight, it's very hard to do it because we still want to have the, the highlight there. So we might have to give on it, give up on it at some point. And the same thing would go here. We'd probably have to go in and make a transition. In this case, it's not as bright as, as the other one. And I don't want to add that there because that's the artist's decision. But again, we do have a really big corner here that we, we're still going to be able to see fairly well. Uh, but I think that the transition there kind of solved it. Now, what will we do, for example, here? Because here it's kind of hard, right? Because we don't have shades for that. We could do this one because this is kind of, if we make the everything uh, tones of gray, you can kind of see that it is something in between. But it's pretty much the only shade that we have. So we really have to come up with, with an extra shade. So we're going to pick this color 50% and click on the screen. Color pick that one, okay, and we add that. We can also do it, for example, here and here, okay, and let's do a little bit of there and there. Again, I'm adding just the pixels. I'm, I want to make sure that I'm not just adding pixels that I don't want to be I'm, uh, replacing some of them. And now I think the top looks a bit better. It looks a little smoother, okay. There's a few things also that I would change, for example, like the shading here. I'd probably do this. Because uh, I think it, it'll help the shape. This highlight, I think, is a little bit bright. I think I actually say this in the discussion that the, the bottom highlight, maybe it's a little too bright. And you can use that even inside, okay, in, in, in the image itself. So in here, you'd probably have to make something in between, which this image doesn't have, which I think it is lacking, is that it could have an extra, an extra shade here and there. So when doing this, we are basically creating the same effect, but with um, with extra colors, uh, with replacing the colors that we had original. So we're kind of finding a, a way to uh, to fix this, and maybe here we could have a brighter highlight to help give that sense. Okay, so now the line across the chalice also is a little smoother. And this is pretty much, it. I mean, it, it can be more complicated and it can be more technical and math based and everything. But uh, to start off, I think this is uh, more than enough to get you going if you want to give it a try. Uh, it's a very complicated concept, so don't get buggered if you don't, if you don't get it right the first time or if you feel like you're not really understanding it because it is, in fact, fairly complicated. Most people struggle with it for ages. So, uh, But I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video and I'll see you guys around. Thank you so much. Goodbye.